it's Crazy Fangirl Shimey. Hope you guys are having an amazing day. So today we are continuing with Boba Fett, the book of Boba Fett, chapter four. Um, as usual, there is no title for the episode yet, um, but obviously it will be in the title of the video as usual. Um, so we left off with um, Boba obviously finding out that the Pikes have arrived. Uh, and they are definitely heading towards a war. I'm very excited for this episode. Last one was a little bit slow, but we were introduced to, I can't remember the gang's name, but we met them. They were obviously brought up because people were thinking that they were stealing water, but the price was really shitty, so they obviously did steal it. But Boba took this gang under their wing, surprise, surprise, and has given them a chance to work for him. And it's pretty cool because the family is starting to grow out more and more in his palace, which is pretty sick. Um, I hope we get to see some character development with this new team, obviously, all together, um, which would be really, really cool. Not really sure where it's going to go, other than the fact that there probably is going to be some negotiations with the other leaders who are in the area. Um, because in the thumbnail for this episode, we did see that Boba is sitting at the table, so I'm guessing that big dinner or feast scene is going to happen in this episode so I'm super excited let's just jump straight in but before that please remember to like subscribe and comment if you enjoyed this video but also keep up to date with all my other reactions to more tv shows movies and video games so without further ado let's jump straight into it Ooh. oh so he came here like right after everything that happened with the Tuscans that's interesting oh god what is that oh wait was that music did <laughs> hello my body is ready <laughs> oh my god dude the theme song just made my heart like race 20 times faster than it should have oh god oh um finnick oh they're the ones with like the cybernetics in their body oh nice they're like showing everything <laughs> but that's cool <laughs> Master Assassin Fennec Shan of the Midroom. Damn, he knew who she was. If I help you, my debt is paid. That is what you wish. Aww. Paper could have been a real asshole about it, but nah. He was just like, yeah, if that's what you wish. What the hell? Like, that's- It just shows- like, wait, hold on. It just shows, like, what sort of man he has become. Because I feel like if it was during his days in the Empire, he would not have agreed to that. He'd be like, hell no, you're gonna be doing stuff for me after that. After you help me get my stuff back. But that's just, like, yeah. It just shows how much he's changed and how much he's willing- to be so open to other people now, especially after everything that's happened, if even with the Tuscan stuff, he's open to like making sure people, you know, yes, they feel the, like do their debt, but then after that, he's like, you can do whatever you want. So it's like, I don't know, I feel like that's like huge. I never expected that from Boba. And again, like this show has like taken a whole different turn than I expected, but I love it. Especially for Boba's character. Like I didn't expect this road for him, but I'm loving it. Make baby Bender. <laughs> oh. Bro, just so sweet. I kill that bloated pig who double crossed me. <laughs> Take his throne. You want to head a god trip? Damn, that was his plan all along. Ooh. And we time that patrol and go in quiet. Yeah. <laughs> oh, don't want to mess with him. <laughs> what does it give me? Um, oh, what's his name? Oh shit, Grievous. That's his name. That gave me such Grievous vibes just then. <laughs> I am Boba Fett. Oh no! Wait, he just turned himself off. <laughs> he was so afraid he was like I'm exiting this <laughs> make sure that thing can still fly come on Finnick damn that headshot though <laughs> nice oh what a shot you 
debt is paid. Who would you like to be dropped? Where are you headed? I have a few scores to settle. Yeah. I'll go for the ride. Sick. Oh, he's going after them. Nice, dude. Oh, Barbara ain't holding back. <laughs> Oh, this is a bit of the old Boba, sort of slinking back in, just to say hello. <laughs> oh, is that a Sarlacc pit? Oh! Oh, he's looking for the armor. Okay, that's ugly. Can you like switch a light on or something? <laughs> oh, that's a sick shot. What the heck, dude? This has got some really sick shots in this episode. I like it. Oh wait, you're actually going into it? Blech. Oh no, wait, he probably can't remember that those little imp things, I can't remember what they're called, those little things with the hoods took his armor. He probably can't remember. Oh my god, why did I go? Oh, Jesus, I knew it. I knew it, I saw it, and I didn't think it would actually jump out. Ew! Oh! We should hire him. Oh, Jesus. Oh, she's beautiful. And in return, I will wipe your debt off the books. Hmm. That's very nice of her. Oh! Oh, my God. At least she tried. Looks like you could use a job. <laughs> oh god. Why does he look so terrifying? Rain ended in a ball of fire. Oh, nice. They're having the meeting now. What prevents us all from killing and taking? Oh, Jesus! Oh, love that. A little bit of like blackmail. <laughs> What I'm short on is muscle. Credits in my muscle. If you know where to look. Mm-hmm. Wait! Why are you playing that? Stop! <laughs> I'm confused now. What? Are you gonna get like Mandalorians in on the case? Oh my god. Wait, I'm sorry! <laughs> Are they going to ask the Mandalorians to help them? That would be pretty sick. I'm just saying. But the fact that, like, Din's theme played at the end, I'm so confused. Like, is that what's happening? Like, are we going to see Pedro Pascal in the next episode? Ah! <laughs> I'm so confused. <laughs> I would really like to see Pedro Pascal. Dude, you can't tease my heart like this playing that theme because I know it as just, like, from Mandalorian. So it's like, oh, like the pain. Oh, but overall, it was a great episode. There was a lot of action in different areas. There was a, a bit of politics and there was a lot of like um, character delving in terms of Boba Fett with Finnick. There's a little bit of horror, which I really don't like. <laughs> but overall, I think it was a really, really great episode. There was some really great moments in there. I loved the scenes between Finnick and Boba in this episode because I was going to say at the beginning of the episode, we haven't seen a lot of them actually like properly interacting which is totally okay but i would really love there to be more um character development between these two characters especially because it's technically about both of them and both of them taking over you know bib fortuna's place and also well boba doing it but then obviously fennec helping him but um i love how 
they were delving into sort of like Boba's beliefs and even Fennec's beliefs a little bit, especially when they were sitting around the fire and Boba was like, I offer you a place, loyalty and all that stuff. And then she's like, yeah, but I'm very independent. But also she was saying like, it's like, I think like she was trying to say like, it's very different now. And that, you know, like, yeah, he he's become soft because obviously she knows as a bounty hunter and also being a woman, it's 10 times harder to survive in the industry that she's in. And also what Boba was into as well, to a certain extent. So like she, I love that sort of perspective after everything he went through with the Tuscans. And we see that like, yes, he still has that knowledge of being a bounty hunter and that's coming into play. But there's also that knowledge from the Tuscans and learning how, sort of like how they fought, how they lived in all their ways. And in like sort of like putting that into his own lifestyle and living that for so long that it's become just natural to him more than bounty hunting and him saying like, you know, I want to be the one in charge and I want to help people do it right. And that was an interesting perspective because I never thought that we'd ever see Boba Fett this incredible character that, you know, his death was unknown. People were thinking like, is he alive? Is he dead? Like, the fact that we're able to actually know, like, sort of, like, his beliefs now after everything he's gone through, I find it so intriguing, especially compared to how he was when he was younger. Um, and, you know, he was very angry. He was very hot-headed straight into all these situations. And even in the in the movies as well, he was such a different person to what he is now. And so it's very interesting to sort of see the differences. And I really, really like that and really appreciate that we're seeing all of that in this show. Um... And yeah, I'm absolutely loving this show so much. But yeah, overall, this episode was really, really good. I thoroughly enjoyed it. And I loved how majority of it was a little bit of a flashback. Um, we did get to see, obviously, everything that happened with Boba, how he found Fennec. And yeah, that was really great. And a great summarized sort of version of what it was and how he found her and how, like, they ended up becoming comrades and her helping him. Um, I wonder what's going to happen in the next episode, whether we'll have another flashback and see Din... Well, I mean, I'm guessing that's going to be, like, scenes from The Mandalorian, so it's nothing new. Um, or if we just see Boba sort of looking at, like, Din when he's, like, in the first episode of season two, and he's obviously riding by with the armor, and Boba's like, I, I know where to go now because he has my armor. Um, so, yeah, <laughs> that would be interesting to see what happens next. Um, but yeah, I wonder if they actually are going to get the help from the Mandalorians, because obviously the theme at the end was really confusing, and now I'm like, are they going to ask them, like, is it going to be Din? Are they going to ask Din, or are they going to go to, um, shit, what's her name? Um, Bo, bo -Katan. Oh god, my brain's not working, but are they going to go to Bo? That's another thing. Um, are they going to ask her? But also, who knows, because she obviously wants the Darksaber, so mm, it's a touch-and-go subject. <laughs> But yeah, now I'm like, what is going to happen next? I like that it's sort of left on sort of like, what the heck is going to happen next? Um, but now we are sort of reached the halfway mark. We've got four more episodes left. Can't believe it. This comes so quick. But yeah, I'm absolutely loving this show so much. And I cannot, 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 cannot wait for the next episode. Because now I'm just like, what's going to happen next? Like, who, what, where, when, why? Like, oh. It's gonna be great. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please give a like, subscribe, comment, and tell me your thoughts on this episode on the Book of Boba Fett Chapter 4, uh, The Gathering Storm. I'm pretty sure that's the name of the episode from memory. <laughs> Again, overall, this, this episode was great. I thoroughly enjoyed it. I'm not sure what the internet's gonna say tonight, so I'm gonna be watching and seeing, but I honestly thought it was great. And I love these sort of episodes where it's a mixture of character development action and then there's these other moments that sort of fill in the episode which is what a tv show is and i don't know what people expect in terms of that um i always love sort of like mixture of episodes or different themes and colors and flavors in episodes so which is why i loved like you know we got the character development moments and we got a bit of horror then we got fight and then we got like all these different parts of it and then we got to see obviously more character development with Finnick and boba and then more to do with boba and yeah it was just really really good <laughs> And then again, Boba's growing out his family with Chrysanthemum. Um, I knew that obviously he would probably hire him. I was hoping he would, because otherwise it's just like, why was he in the episodes for so short time? So I'm glad he's there. I'm hoping we get to see him more in action, because he is 
like tough as nails that dude <laughs> and he's terrifying so i'm really excited to see what else they do with him in terms of the fight scenes and choreography um i also can't wait to just see more action because obviously this war is like ramping up a lot and i can't wait to see where it goes and what happens next it's gonna be sick to see what's happening in the next episode but for now thank you guys so much for watching this and i'll see you guys in the next video peace of angle out Woo!